Congratulations, you're now in the Gentleman's Club. Or are about to be because you have already bought or are going to buy the new Kershaw AM3, which is an Almar design. Speaking of the Gentleman's Club, this is really a job for a stripper. But when you leave your stripper at work, all you have is your knife. I hate making XLR. The AM3 is one of three collabs between Almar and Kershaw. Sorry, I mean Kershaw featuring Almar. The AM3 is the smallest of the three, so let's look at the dimensions. Like the overall length. And weight. The blade size. The cutting edge. Note my size is correct. Kershaw's website says 3.4 inch blade length. It ain't. The handle size and the grip area. Spine thickness and handle thickness. And just so you know, I do double check manufacturer's claims. When the dimensions and weight are slightly more precise, I use theirs. If it's way off, I use mine. Cool, good talk. The AM3 is the smallest of the three Almar Kershaw blades, and it features a spear point, satin finished blade with a hollow grind. The blade is forged from Chinese 8 CR13 MOV steel, which is a common steel in Kershaw's more budget friendly knives. It's long and pointy and stabby, so I guess in a pinch you can gut a fish while you're on your lunch break, and then, uh, I don't know, go back to opening junk mail after you eat. The blade is either deployed by thumb studs or the speed safe assisted stud on the back. Since the thumb stud is more like a blade stop, as you close it, they're not as easy to use because they're pretty close to the handle. The knife is small and it's hard to get your fingers under them and out of the way. The flipper stud on the back works best. Consistent deployments, you know, like speed safes are known for is what you're going to get. Clickety click. When there's closing, there's some resistance at the end, but that's the torsion bar and that's how it's supposed to feel. But you knew that. And sorry to that Instagram user, I did not try to de-assist it. It's usually a mixed bag when people try de-assisting the speed safes. I've done it before, but uh, if you check out my review of the Fraction, that one feels like an assisted, and it's about the same size and price and lighter. So check that one out. I expect you'd either have to over-tighten the pivot because on these compact models, the torsion bar generally acts as the detent. So the blade will probably flop out if you don't tighten it down a lot. By the way, brass washers on either side of the pivot for those brass enthusiasts on the channel. Okay, the handle. The handle is an open back design with the most beautiful scarlet spacers I've ever seen. On one side of the handle is a polished G10 with a small nested partial liner. And the other side is a solid steel slab, I guess, for the frame lock, because Kershaw still hasn't perfected the heat treatment on G10 yet to make it sturdy enough for, yeah. But yeah, the lock disengagement ain't too bad, just regular. The overall feel of the handle is nice and smooth. It is a little small for me, as is the blade, but if you watch this channel, you know I like mid three inches the best. Of course, blade retention when closed is great. I don't own a speed safe that isn't pretty good. By the way, I forgot to mention in my fraction review, the last one I did, you know, blade retention is great on that one too. The detent is strong and it can't be flung open when closed. Like this one, the pocket clip. The pocket clip is mounted on the steel side and can't be reversed. It's tip up carry blade backward in my right pocket. So there's a sad trombone because it's not reversible for, I don't know, left-handed people. I assume, I don't know, I'm not left-handed. And I have trouble empathizing with left-handed people. But it's a pretty deep carry clip, so you know, you gotta look on the bright side, right? Okay, in my fraction review, the very last review I did, right before this, I did a comparison segment, so I'll re-edit it slightly for this. The AM3 is about the same weight as the 941. That is a bigger knife overall, and its design gives it a bigger handle and bigger blade, but somehow magically keeps the weight down. This knife, on the other hand, is a bit smaller. So, yeah, bigger blade, same weight, prefer that one. Now let's compare it to the Fraction, about a half an ounce lighter overall. It's not assisted, but feels assisted. That handle is shorter slightly, but it kind of tapers and this one has like the grip area. It's slightly smaller, 
but since half of it isn't steel, you save half an ounce. Then the showtime, which is nearing four ounces and a tad bigger overall. But it's all steel, so of course it's heavier. The handle is slightly bigger than the AM3, but the AM3 is, you know, lighter, I guess. All right, I know my knife reviews lately have been longer than usual, so let's finish it up. The AM3 is a compact, fairly lightweight blade for light duty office work. I'll let you decide if it's a blade for you. Give it a thumbs up, comment. Stay tuned for the Sabanza review I have coming up soon. So you wanna see an unboxing review, like terrible unboxing video? How about let's watch this here um, as I open this knife up and uh, watch some of these other videos you see here on the screen. Other Kershaws and hey, thanks for watching.